This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for joining. And of course, this is where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa What's Hi. up? What's good? Hi. How are you guys okay. doing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm blessed, man. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. Are you good? Yeah, okay. Good. <laughs> okay. So, um, David Doe is excited as he appreciates his fans um, for pushing firm to over 5 million views on YouTube. And it's a big deal. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people are going on and on about him buying um, views. views. Mm -hmm. I really, why, why do people say that when it comes to David Do I'm very confused. First of all, he is very capable of getting that type of numbers organically when he has that name. So I don't understand. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's, a possi it's not a possibility that he bought it. I don't know. But it's just weird to me that they bring it up for David. If, if Whiskey does it, it's fine. If Yemi Alade does it, it's fine. If mm -hmm. the, um, Brenner Boy does it, but if David does it, then he bought the streams. And I don't get why there is so much because hate. Because he's on my level. Ah, he so not it's be angry. them. Ah, no. But honestly, mm -hmm. I, I feel like this song is fire. A lot of people want to hear about it. Whether mm -hmm. or not it is made up or it's not made up, beef sells. We all know that. And it's very relatable mm -hmm. as well. Uh, uh, yes. Beyond the beef. Because it exactly. took me a while to hear that there was a beef behind. And I've been jamming to the song mm. based on personal experiences yeah. and telling people fem. There is a lot of people that need to yeah. be told to fem. So I, 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 don't, I, I think it's very deserving of the numbers, absolutely. And I don't think it's bought. But that's just obviously me. I'm not his friend and I don't know his computer and what he has bought or not. But... I feel like it's 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 he's in his rights to be able to get this kind of numbers. Yeah, I like the fact that you brought up the beef. So um, it's hard to ignore the Bonner Boy, David O beef, and um, the you know narratives that has come with Femme and um, some of the narratives that has come with tracks like No De Vex Twenty Three and mm. Way Too Big in um, um Twice a Star album as well that people are speculating that. Are songs that are targeted at David O. Mm. And then Femme being songs <laughs> being a song that is targeted at Bonner Boy. And then it's not a coincidence as well that after David O came out to celebrate his five million views on mm. YouTube in less than a, a week, mm. right? <clears throat> a Bonner Boy goes on his um, Insta story mm. to write that. Um, I don't know why a lot of these artists think that the fact that they have streams means they are nah, talented. That's an old post. Mm, yeah. I, yeah, that's that's I think an that old post. That's that what he said to Mayor Cohen in yeah. May 2019. Yeah, it now. is an it is an old post, but people mm -hmm. went to dig people that. Dug it out, yeah. yeah, people mm -hmm. people dug that out as well, and then they're now putting it out there like it's because um you have streams and then you think you're talented. So, you know, all of those things... But he brags about his... his <clears throat> and he wasn't, he wasn't even... It, they actually used that to attack Burner Boy, where mm. he, he also put out a stream for Twice A Store, where yeah. he has made, I think, 31 million globally for Apple mm. Music. I, I can't remember the figures right now, but of course, for every platform, he put it out there for YouTube and all that. That's for collective um, stream for Twice A Store. You know, then somebody quoted that, mm. bringing back what he has said in 2019 to the say, purpose. why is it a big deal for you now? Because yes. you are the one getting the stream. When the, it was May Yoko, it wasn't a big deal. It yeah. wasn't that you were talented. The purpose of me yeah. bringing out this conversation was not to attack either David Doe or Bonaboy or any other artist that had streams. The purpose was to let it be known that, look, you have to be doing something right to be getting streams, but or not. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You are definitely doing something right. right yeah. So David Doe is doing something right. I jumped on the Femme bandwagon yesterday. I posted something on my story. I mm -hmm. had a picture that I had my hand in my mouth. Mm -hmm. And I, like you said, it's relatable. It's a song that relates to it because a lot of people need to just shut up for a minute and just watch you succeed in life because um, not everybody needs to talk when they do not need to talk and even when you need to talk no they talk too much <laughs> smart thing you don't define who talk you get me so at the end of the day yeah so i just think like it, it don't matter whether it's about buying or not, I have to be doing something right. Then my team is solid. Mm. Then my jam is a banger. Then I have the and right it's money. David Doe. Then, and it's David Do. So I, I really do not What's care that? what anybody wants to say. It's a buy buying. Is a why, jam. why hasn't anybody just woken up and bought it? Yeah, and just why, buy yeah, why, why is it such a buy? It was that easy, right? Yeah. Uh, at least we've so seen, I'm doing quote right. unquote, some Yahoo boys. It's yes. not news. They've gone into music and yeah. music did not still succeed. Is it that they didn't have the money to buy? Exactly. It? 
and what, what about the others? It's not every single it's, it's person. It's sometimes, that has sometimes that a lot of a lot of platforms are even so reputable that you may have the money to buy, right? And they'll tell you that look, this song is not good enough. I know about a, um, a, a, an artist promoter that I wanted to put an artist on. Now, this artist is one of those people that you would not consider a very very talented artist, but he has something out there and he has the money to back it up and he wanted to push his songs mm -hmm. and he wanted to do a media tour. Then I reached out to one of those reputable media houses that do media tours and stuff. And the person listened to the music said, man, my guy, even if these people want to pay 10 billion, mm. I cannot work with this guy. Well, that guy go, can see blow he can, in this age and day. Now, listen to the advice that the guy gave. He said he needs to go and rebrand himself. Mm. Let him work on his branding. That money he wants to spend on this media tour, let him spend it on branding. Then come back to me and I'll work with him. So a lot of people still tend to put in the profession, the professional part first before the money. So even if it's that easy to buy, are you, are you working with people that are professional enough? Because there are still people that stand their ground that if you're not good enough, if you're not talented enough, Shine, you're still my not going to work with you. Buy, please. Simple and short. Organic, That's my guy. Mm. Well, I, I don't even think we should care whether yeah. he bought or not. He's doing something right. It's That's a conversation that has thing. been going on and we need to address it one way and or the other. I, I feel like it's not that simple to just let that go because I, f I feel like if you, if you encourage that narrative if you're taking away his hard work and taking away his talents for me personally so i don't like the whole what if, if even if it's but it's cool nah yeah i think it's it's very possible that davido could get those numbers organically trust me i'm believing davido will be thinking the same thing because he, he already sang it one of the songs which in his star blog one talk again mm. okay on. moving on to the next story <laughs> nigerian hip-hop um died when the green died and this is coming from rapper cdq he made the assertion while speaking on the first episode of Hennessy's hip hop docuseries, The Conversation. In his opinion, Dagreen was the only artist that stayed true to the genre. CDQ made this known when he was asked um, to give his opinion on the evolution of hip hop in Nigeria. I, I totally disagree Me that too. hip hop died when Dagreen died. I think <coughs> hip hop evolved and hip hop even got life when Dagreen died because. That's like killing a legacy that a Dark Green has set for us, a standard that a Dark Green has set for us. We, we are forever grateful that we had an artist like Dark Green, not just for the indigenous rappers, because in as much as it was indigenous, right, he had the right lyrics, he had the right words that just, you know, mattered a lot. And then there are a lot of hip hop artists right now that are still putting us on the map. I can call the likes of M.I. Abaga, I can call the likes of Ladi Po, I can call Victor. the likes well, Victor, not for me though. Um, I could call the likes of um, what's it called now? Black Bones. I can so call. So, if you're calling Ladipo and Vector is not for you, how Ladipo that... and Vector, that's very disrespectful to Ladipo, to be honest. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, 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 I respect even, even Vector. Even the names you're mentioning, I feel like no, um, mine is even, they're not very indigenous. I thought you'd have mentioned Olami D. No, that's why I said taking it away from not indigenous. Right. I'm talking indigenous, about hip hop yeah, generally. Right. I'm saying let's take it away from indigenous right now. And you now. think, well, um, uh, what's it called? Vector. No, uh, recipes that green okay. influences people. Influences people. Influence those people. These Ladipo and and Emma No, it did not influence them according to their creativity. It okay. Influenced the hip hop scene right. in Nigeria, mm. which is what is most important. Maybe I a lot of people would not the even indigenous hip hop scene in Nigeria. For me, this this <clears throat> okay, so let me conversation take you back. here. Um, I don't know if there's maybe tomorrow or next week or next month, CDQ will say something that I can agree to. He has not said anything ever <laughs> that has actually sat down and I think, oh, okay, this guy is saying I something. Think, I, I don't think know where he's is, coming from. I think this it would have been nice if we can see the video of how he started it and how mm. he ended it. But right now, we are talking based on what the press has carried, yeah? Mm. But based on what the press has carried, I don't understand you saying hip-hop died when Green died. First and foremost, he did not start hip-hop in Nigeria. What he actually he had the likes of Elder the Don Tribes do you understand? Life. So I do not agree. I think there's, and there's, there's, I don't there's know. a mindset. I, 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 it's very. I always. I'm always treading carefully when I want to say this. But sometimes when people pass away, mm. they get a lot more momentum than sometimes they deserve. And I understand the logic behind that, but that's not always true because you don't know what, what could have <clears> happened if these people were still alive. You don't know. Maybe their music could have gone flat. Mm -hmm. They could have gone west. They could have been a sellout and be doing commercial stuff and I mean, decrease. You really don't happened. know. Okay, um, either so way, instance, I still think that um, the, the green is you can't take away his impact on you know our music industry but i feel like there's a lot of people who were there before him are still there and they're doing 
I, I feel like if he was here and he was still doing his thing the way he was, he'll have been proud of them and he'll have, he'll have had good competition. For I don't instance, think he's the, he's the I mean, best thing that... Nine. Yeah, I don't think Come it's the on. best thing that's For ever instance, happened to the I'll give you, the I'll give you... No, yeah, we're going too far away. We're calling Mode 9. I'll give you. We're going without too far. Was respect, it not before... No, okay. hold on. Now, without due respect, I'll mm -hmm. be I'll, I'll be talking about Idris Abdul Karim. He mm -hmm. gave us the figgity, miggity, blah, 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 of e pop music in Nigeria. And the record man came to change that. <laughs> huh? And the rugged man came to and then address man. that to say, you so have to be saying now, something. Now, yeah. the reason why I'm, I'm bringing. I like the fact that you brought up Rugged Man because mm. I didn't even but think about quickly, it. But quickly, mm -hmm. right? Um, the reason why I brought up Idris up to Karim and then Rugged Man, like you mentioned, is because um, we don't know if this career could have gone south or west or north or east, mm. right? Which we don't know what has happened to Idris and Rugged Man. With all due respect to the mm -hmm. both of them, right? Mm -hmm. But they gave us. A standard. Mm -hmm. They gave us a recipe mm -hmm. to tread on, and which has led to the success of a lot of other successful hip hop artists. Yeah. So we can't take that away. Whether the so direct um, from that green, yes, yes agreed. we can never take of it course, away. But he's not. It, it's the industry did not die because and it did not start away. because of him. Yes, simple as ABC. It got anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the indigenous got better. Mm -hmm. Anyway, tea time continues right after this break with very interesting guests. <laughs>